Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's high time we addressed another liberal talking point uh, that I've been confronted with uh, several times just in the last couple weeks uh, about health insurance companies and excessive profits because, by golly, if the liberals can't push through uh, universal health care slash socialized medicine through the arena of ideas legislatively, they can't be you there, then by golly, we'll just demonize those health insurance companies because they make excessive profits, uh, just like they did when they pushed to nationalize oil companies. Uh, they were screaming about their excessive profits until you found out how much in taxes they pay every year and their actual profit margin. The truth is that, and the same thing goes for this debate with health care and the insurance companies, the truth is that health insurance is one of the least profitable industries in America. In fact, according to Fortune magazine, such companies only make, wait for it, 2.2 cents for every dollar of gross sales. This is lower than beverages, specialty retailers, computers and office equipment, food services, and general merchandisers. So there you have it again. Uh, the loony left demonizing health insurance companies until you realize uh, they don't have a massive profit margin. So what are they going to do now? Who are they going to demonize now? Uh, I bet you that we'll still have people, still have people saying that they have excessive profits. You know, they never define what excessive is. You know, when do you go from good profits to excessive profits or high profits or or you know whatever garbage uh, they're running down the pike that day. So there you have it, folks. Health insurance companies have a profit margin of 2.2 cents for every dollar of gross sales. Don't thank me now.